Hi there, this is Cheryl Evans. This next video will explain how to create property charts and how to properly label them. So the first thing to note is that the property charts are sitting here at the top right of specific pages and those pages are the outside assessment form and the inside assessment form. Okay, so the point of a property chart is to have it represent a visual picture or make a visual representation of the property so that the resident can easily remember back to the conversation you had and have their attention drawn to things that were uh, of concern that they should be thinking about making changes to. So the drawing tool you've learned about before, you can insert uh, text, you can draw lines, draw circles, change colors, um, make, uh, change your fonts, um, you can move items, you can move them back, uh, you can erase things. There's all kinds of different functions. Um, the more you play with it, the more, the easier it becomes. Okay, so we want to mention that for each diagram, we recommend some basic elements be part of what is called a base diagram. So for every diagram, we recommend that you have a legend label, that you have a north arrow, that you show the footprint of the house and label it house, that you show the outline of the driveway and label it driveway, and that you note special features that are going to be relevant to the, the explanation that you're giving to the resident. So in this case, there are gates and fences that are relevant, a large tree, a rain barrel, and a sewer lateral that the resident is having some concerns about. So this is a great base diagram. What we want to do to save time is copy this diagram so that it can be used outside as well because right now it's being used only inside. Okay, so what we're going to do is very simple. We're just going to use a little floppy disk symbol and we're going to download it onto um, the, the computer. Um, what we need to do is grab it from the file, the downloads, and put it into a file that we can easily access and reuse. So we'll put it in desktop. We'll put it in just the spot here. Okay. So then we'll close this up. And now we're going to save this and we are going to go to the outside assessment page and we'll notice, like I said, the property chart is blank. So what we're going to do is just grab, uh, push on this button that is a um, uh, file folder and we are going to look in here to see where our diagram is. There it is. Okay, so we're gonna grab it. We're going to put it on there and there it is, ready to go. Okay. So then we're going to go to look at our diagram. What we need to do now is look at the different features that we might want to have on the diagram. What we're going to do is go through the list in order and look for the features that are red because usually it's the red features that are considered um, performing poorly or need further investigation and those are things you need to pay attention to and bring attention to the homeowner to. And so you want to label those on the diagram for quick reference. So we've got a few different ones here. What I've already started to do is go through and label the things in order uh, that are read. So I put a number sign A with the first one and I'm going to note that it is poor grading at foundation. I'm noting that on my piece of paper. Then 
this is also relevant, uh, but sort of the same point, so I'm not going to make it a separate label. Um, number sign B, uh, this is poor eaves trough maintenance, so I'm going to write that down as well. Then the next is going to be number sign C, so um, it's connected downspouts. I've got a little picture there, so I'm going to note that in my book. Next, number sign D. Um, we have a rain barrel that's performing poorly and is overflowing, so I'm going to note that on my book. And then the last one is number sign E, so it is a uh, poor condition of window and frames. Okay, so now I have all the, those ideas in my mind of what I really need to put on the report so that the resident will have those brought to their attention. So number sign A is grading that is poor around the rain barrel. So I'm going to mark the area where it's poorly graded and then I'm going to label it under the legend. So you just pull that over and then you click on text, pull it to where you want it, and you just label it. Poor grading or um, near rain barrel. Okay, I'm going to tidy this up so it looks nice and organized. Okay, so then B is clogged eaves troughs. We're going to indicate where that is happening on the property. Then we're going to label it here. Okay. Clogged eaves troughs. I'll just make those all small letters for consistency. Okay, then I'll line that up nicely. Okay, then C is connected downspouts. So that's over there on the diagram. So we're going to label that as well. Okay, connected downspout. Okay, and then we need to line that up so it looks good. And I'm not going to go all the way through because it, it will take too much time. But what we're going to do is save it by putting apply for apply changes. And we're just going to check on our report to see how things are looking. I love to do this. I always go back and forth just to see how things are looking. So we're looking at the diagram. We see that this is nicely lined up. It's clean. It's clear. Um, the pictures are nice and crisp and clear. They are also labeled A, B, C, D, E, which is great. Um, we'll notice that with assessed features we've got A and then C, D, E, and then with assess, assess maintenance we've got B down here. That's not really something to worry about because the program takes the assessed features and the assess maintenance and divides them up but still the best we can do is have them um, appear this way and it will look as organized as possible so as long as the photos are lined up and the labels are lined up that's that's um, what you're hoping to to achieve for best practices in this okay so we're very pleased with that we're going to go back um, we know there are a few things that we need to continue working on, so then we can just go back in and finish our labeling. That's it for now. Thank you.